Secure Communities, or ESCOM, as it's known. It's a Bush era program that President Obama has expanded, but it's also one that is meeting with protests from many Hispanic communities. It's supposed to, to deport the most violent of illegal immigrants, but many critics say that is not how it is working. Join me now to talk about it is talk show host Mario Solis. Marich, Mario, good day to you, sir. Good morning. How are you? I'm well. I'm well. You've called for the resignation of a White House official, Cecilia Munoz, White House Director of Intergovernmental Affairs, after she defended this program. Tell us about the, the problem that you have with ESCOM and tell us about the problem that you have with the White House official who supported it. It's, keep in mind, it's not just my problem with ESCOM. There are uh, police associations, yeah. uh, police protective leagues, governors, uh, state legislators all over the country who have found that the, the quote unquote secure communities program that the Obama administration has put on steroids is absolutely dangerous and harmful to police uh, police activities. And so, so there is the the problem is is that this program has effectively but here, created. A wedge but there are, between Latino communities. Here's the thing, though. And uh, the folks on the other end of the spectrum, uh, Mario, they, they would say that the executive branch of the United States is charged with enforcing the law, regardless, you know, of, of, of the law. That, that's the branch that's charged with, with executing the law. Are you angry that the White House appears to be executing the law more effectively, perhaps, than its predecessor? The, there's one thing to, uh, you know, first of all, it's not a law, it's a program. A program, excuse so me. So this is, the, yeah, this is a program. And there's a big difference there because under a program, the administration has a lot of leeway in the way that they implement it. Um, a year ago, two years ago, they said they had a lot of leeway, then they said they had none, and then it turns out they are currently making administrative changes. We should and know. And so the fact is, they have a lot of leeway, right. they have the ability to, to, to basically make this program so it's targeted at the people they initially promised it would be targeted we to. want to make sure they, we uh, they have not I want to make sure again the White House response here let's take a look at what the White House uh, response says uh, in part we have implemented common sense guidelines for prosecutorial discretion we are are beginning a case-by-case -case review process to focus federal enforcement resources on the highest priority individuals and are making improvements to the secure communities program all of which strengthen the government's ability to target criminals even more effectively Effectively, uh, effectively, do you foresee changes in the uh, in the implementation of the program? We First of all, we were told there couldn't be changes. Then, a couple of months ago, after I called for the resignation of Cecilia Munoz, we were informed within 24 hours that there would be changes. Those changes are yet to be implemented. We're hearing from all over the country where young college students are still being deported under this program. And this was clearly a group of people that the administration said would no longer be targeted. And yet today, right. we right. know for a fact that they're still being that they're still being targeted. So we, uh, what? What the administration is currently saying right. and what they're doing are two different things. Mario, thank you so much for your time. This is uh, this is something that we want to continue to follow closely and keep our eye on here. So please stay in touch with us, sir.